If you are an intraday trader, you need to know this. Hey guys, back with another tips day. This time I'll be sharing with you something very, very valuable that will make a huge, huge impact on your intraday trading. So I've been telling a lot about how important is liquidity when it comes to trading Forex. But do you know how important are session as well on in your intraday trading? And most importantly, do you know which session is the most liquid when it comes to trade intraday? Well, let me show you something here. We got Asian session, London session, and New York session. I want you guys to pay close attention to what happens every time that the London session comes into the market. Look at this. So we have a square over here. This represents the whole range of the Asian session. As soon as the market opens at London, they grab liquidity to the top side to then reverse to the downside. Let me show you again. This was Friday, by the way. This is literally from last week, right? Now, one more time. They take liquidity during London to the low side, then they shoot all the way to the upside. Now, let me show you again. That, that was on Thursday. This was the last Wednesday, Asian session. This is the Frankfurt timing. So it's, um, it's, the, it's the hour between uh, the end of Asian session and London Open. And look at this. They grab the liquidity to the top side and then they go all the way downside. Now, how about Tuesday? Well, we have Asian getting taken to the low side, but nothing happened to the upside. Oh, well, why that though? Because... As I always say, there is no one strategy or approach in the market that you can use with a 100% win rate. However, as everything is within the probability, if you understand the logic behind it, you can always use that on your advantages. And the same goes for the day before. We don't have, we just have the Asian look at getting taken out. Nothing about the top side. The same over here. But then look at that again. We have um, Asian high taken out. And then during New York, the Asian look gets taken down. Now, I'm not going to go a lot more in depth. What I want you guys to do is just take this piece of information that I just shared with you, get on a chart and start back testing as much as you can. And I promise you, I promise you, like for example here, I, I shared now seven days, approximately seven days. And out of seven days, four days, like you literally can see price gets taken in one side and then it goes to the other side. Now, why this is so important? Because if you understand where the liquidity is, you will know how you can frame and shape your own trading approach around the sessions. You will know that you shouldn't be looking, right, um, uh, in, during Asian high, Asian low, any point of interest for your trades or anything like that, okay? So obviously you have to backtest and reflect that according to your own trading strategy and your trading plan. But for the time being, what else I can suggest you to do as well, is just not only backtesting how many times the Asian high and Asian low gets taken out, but why also sometimes price takes only one set of Asian high and Asian low. OK, so I'm going to give a little hints. And then if you guys have any comments or any question or anything else, just drop it on the comment section and I'll be more than happy to make more videos about it. So let me leave you with the last hints and then you can go and backtest this. Look at this. That's the Asian box. We have some equal lows. Price has taken out the liquidity to the downside. So what do you think London will do? Do you really think that London has intention to go to take the liquidity below if Asian has already fulfilled the needs for the day. All right, guys, I'll see you to the next one.